Hello and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. My name is Ricardo Silva and today I'm going to be doing a, the final tutorial on a series for modeling a coffee mug. So we were talking about the different methods of modeling that there could be more than three for this type of object. So it doesn't really matter, but the uh, final result should be something like this. Now, the, we have already created the loft and the polygons. And the last one that we're going to create is the late object uh, to create our shape. So let's go ahead and jump to Cinema 4D. To use the late object, basically, if I look at its icon, just like the other icons, the late object basically needs a, a, a profile or a spline that tells me what the profile of my coffee mug is going to be. So as you can see, the icon represents a vase, so a coffee mug is very similar to one of these objects. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the late object and by itself, just like any other of these objects, it's not going to do anything but I'm going to need a spline. So the spline that I'm going to be using is going to be one of these white ones because these are basically created by hand. Remember that these ones in the blue are parametric, meaning that they are formulas already created and you can control them via parameters. But we're going to do a hand, uh, a, 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 it's not going to be a free hand, but it's going to be a, a handmade uh, curve. So I'm going to select the Bezier curve, which is the one that I'm more familiar with. So I'm going to go to the right side over here, make sure that the bottom part is there okay so because the late object works uh, as a revolving the spline around in a 360 degrees that means i'm going to have to work in the middle of my uh, center so i have to make sure that i realize or recognize where the center point is notice this green line is showing me that that is the center of the universe and that's where i'm going to be creating my line on one side of that so i'm going to click on the first point there okay and then the second point over here okay now before I even continue doing this, you probably think, well, wouldn't it be better if I can actually snap to those points so I don't have to guess? And the answer is yes. So let's go ahead and enable the snapping tool that is over here on this side. And by uh, enabling the snapping, then automatically it's ready to be used. The grid snapping is not automatic by default. So I have to go inside there Make sure that I go, uh, let me just pull this menu out. And I'm going to go down here where it says uh, Access Snap. That's all I need to do. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to start drawing my profile. Okay, So I just click in here and because the snapping is enabled, I know that it is actually in the center or in that uh, particular point. And I click over here, and then of course I'm going to click somewhere over here to create a little curve. And uh, let's see, maybe over here, so I can. I, 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 as you can see, I'm pulling the the handles, so I can create that curve that I that I know I'm going to need. And I just go here. Let's see, maybe up here. Perfect. And uh, get a little closer so I can draw this other line there, other point, I'm sorry. And then down here, maybe again, a line, something like this. And then over here, I'm going to create that curve, the bottom inside of my cup, something like so. And maybe over here. And then at the end, boom, right there. Perfect. Now, because these are points and maybe the curve is not quite exactly what I wanted, I can go to the points tool with my selection tool and select the point that I want to tweak. And I can move that point very easily. Uh, to move those handles, I need to go to the move tool so I can move those handles. And I think the handle that I have to 
to move is this one. So I'm going to tweak that handle right there. And maybe move that a little bit inside. There you go. Over here, let's see how this one is working. Perfect. So I can tweak it as much as I want. Okay. Now this one is a little too sharp. So I'm going to just bring it up. And maybe this one bring it inside. And if I don't have a, a, a handle in there, I can go ahead and right click outside there and uh, make sure that I go ahead and select one of these options. Uh, I think it's the soft interpolation. There you go. Now I have the handles and I can move one of those handles to make that curve nice and soft. Okay, so I am happy with that shape. Uh, I can tweak it later. But in the meantime, I'm going to go back to my perspective here and make sure that I put that spline inside the late object so I have my cup. So usually when I work in uh, this profile, the, the actual object gets a little too thick, too, too, uh, too white, too robust. So uh, it's a good idea to go back to the right side and maybe with the uh, rectangle selection, I'm going to select all those points that are there. And uh, by looking there, I can move this until I get the perfect proportions. Okay. So I think the, 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 the bottom part is a little too wide compared to the other two coffee mugs that I created in the other tutorials. So I'm going to go in here Okay, and make sure that I only select these points down there with my rectangle selection and move those points inside. Maybe these guys, oh, I, I don't think I selected both of them. Oh, yes, I did. Perfect. And move it up a little bit, uh, something like that. Perfect. And maybe these guys over here are a little too in too much inside, something like so, there you go. Okay, maybe that's good. Alrighty. So if I, again, go to this display, grass shading lines, I can see how this is being formed in, in a polygonal, polygonal fashion. So you can see, this is that. Okay, I can see some artifacts inside there, and that might be because my points might not be in zero position. Let me just go ahead and make sure that I do have them in zero. So let me go back to this area over here. And I'm going to select with the selection tool this point first. And by looking at that, I can see in the actual coordinates that in the x-axis is in zero in Y is 14, but I can see that in Z is offset a little bit. So the Y is fine because it's the height, but the Z axis, it should be zero. So I'm going to just type zero and enter, and I'm going to confirm that this other one is in zero. So these two, they should be X and Z in zero, if you're doing it from the right side, okay? So just by doing that, let me just go ahead and enable the late object here. And let's look inside. And as you can see, I fixed that problem. Alrighty. So the bottom is fine. The top is fine. Okay. Now notice that it creates triangles at the end down here. So, you know, we went into a lot of trouble in the polygonal mode to avoid triangles, but in here, there is no way to avoid them. Okay. So that's the topology that this uh, late will give us. So, okay. So we're happy with it so far and save it and continue with the next step. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.